हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास इन लेमनोलॉजी पार्ट लाइक लेक्चर्स वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड पार्ट वन इन दैट वी स्टडीड अबाउट वॉट इज लेमनोलॉजी दैट इज स्टडी ऑफ इनलैंड वाटर लेक्स अंडर विच वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट बोथ फ्रेश वाटर एंड द सलाइन रिजर्व वायर रिवर स्ट्रीम्स वेटलैंड एंड ग्राउंड वाटर सो लिम्नोलॉजी स्टडीड वी हैव डन इन पार्ट वन लेक्चर ऑफ लिम्नोलॉजी यू कैन सी दैट वीडियो इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज़ पी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास एंड दिस इज़ अ पार्ट टू ऑफ लेक्चर ऑफ लिम्नोलॉजी दैट इज इन लैंड वाटर्स सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक इन लैंड वाटर्स कैन बी फ्रेश वाटर सलाइन और कैन बी मिक्सचर ऑफ द टू कैन बी ब्रैकिश वाटर सो इन लैंड वाटर्स आर इट ऑल्सो मीन्स लाइक वॉट आर द फ्रेश वाटर ऑल्सो नोन एज इज लाइक इट इंक्लूड्स द कैसपियन सी फ्रेश वाटर और नोन एज एंड द डेड सी दैट इज हाइपर सलाइन वेयर एज द बाल्टिक सी ऑल्सो लार्जली फ्रेश वाटर वुड बी एक्सक्लूडेड बाई सम सो दिस इज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनलैंड वाटर दैट इंक्लूड्स फ्रेश वाटर सलाइन वाटर एंड द मिक्सचर ऑफ द टू so what are the types of inland water inland water are classified by fray fray was a scientist who classified the inland waters and the first classification was lotic water lotic water under which creeks streams and the rivers comes and it is in the order of their succession means like creeks are the small and after that the creeks makes streams and the streams may makes the rivers like rivers are large large water body that is flowing water bodies and the streams are medium size and the creeks are of small size okay and it is a continuous current of water flow like flowing water they are the sequence of genesis is like brooks rivulets and the channels and the river the brooks are actually the term uh, mainly for the rivers it is a small river distributary uh, we can say that it is a tributary of river means small then large and then the rivers and this is a difference between the creek and the streams like streams are uh, the above figure is showing the creek and the below one is the stream and what are the creek they are small body flowing water like small flowing water they are shallow in depth and flow into a large body of water and it is a type of stream so streams uh, creeks may be a stream but stream cannot be a creek there is a like there is a difference like stream cannot be a uh, creek cannot be a stream cannot be a creek like they are large water body so a uh, stream is a any body of flowing fluid it can be water lava or wind it is see and can refer to rivers hook brooks or creeks and rills and streamlets so these are the streams the above figure is showing the creek and the below one is the stream so the difference we can see is uh, they are small water bodies creek they are both the flowing fluid and the above one is shallow in nature and the below one is uh, they are deep deep flowing rivers we can say so we have studied about the lotic water they are lotic water we can say they are not uh, flowing like lotic means they are moving but the lentic are the standing water bodies like they are not uh, moving they are standing they are lakes ponds swamps uh, from the lentic series like how they are succe- succession occurs in the form of sh- succession they are lakes ponds and the swamps so uh, they are we will study about the lakes and the ponds and the swamps uh, in detail in the next slide and th- these are like uh, they are divided into two type natural bodies of water means they are naturally created or can be artificial bodies of water natural bodies of water are certain parts of the world are endowed with an abundance of natural water serving human needs and the artificial bodies of water according to man needs water bodies are created artificially it includes the ponds the wells the ra- tanks and the reservoir these are the difference between the natural bodies of water and the artificial bodies of water so this was the lentic series and the lotic series and the main thing here is to know that 
the distribution of the inland water how is inland water are distributed that if we can say that it covers less than 2% of the earth's surface and approximately 2.5 into 10 to the power 6 km square the areas is it covers and the inland water are everywhere means we can found inland water they are fresh water brackish water so they we can find it everywhere but except the marine areas marine areas we cannot find the inland water and argue uh, arguably the polar ice cap which are nevertheless composed of fresh water but rarely in liquid form so inland water are particularly rivers are part of all landscapes so this was the distribution of the inland water so uh, the main thing in this slide is the difference between the land, uh, lotic water and the lentic water the lotic water i have already let you know that lotic water was running water and the lentic water was the standing water so uh, running water or we can say lotic water are the unidirectional the flow of uh, the running water is unidirectional the main current are unidirectional but it is not in case with standing water they are not unidirectional and the, for the depth we can say that running water uh, have small depth means they are not very deep but the standing water are having large depth they are large in depth they have large depth and for running water water of the basin is shallow means they are uh, actually they are not having large depth so they are shallow in nature but the standing water are having large depth so they have broad basin and the constant erosion is common with case of running water since they are running so constant erosion occurs but it is in the case with rarely severe eroded materials and not carried away far uh, but remains in the same channel like they will remain wherever they are but in case uh, uh, the difference is like running water tend to increase the length of their uh, channels with age here channel is missing so you can write here that the ten uh, it may increase the length of their with the age means they are having large length but in case of standing water material constantly being deposited tend to fill in the basin so this was the difference between the running water and the standing water so this was all for today thanks for watching and we will be meeting next with the lakes the inland uh, uh, and the next will be the rivers uh, like all we will be continuing the limnology part so this lecture was in english because some of uh, everyone was asking me to make videos in english if you want me to make videos in hindi you can comment me below my channel uh, so that i can know what you want you all want thanks for watching stay tuned and uh, be, uh, please subscribe my channel thank you